I think it's a silly idea and a gimmick, uh, quite frankly. I think the, if you want to stop channel crossings, you simply need to process the applications in France or in mainland Europe. The idea that we should send, the idea that it will be cheaper to send people 4,000 miles away to a dictatorship and pay that dictatorship, which has sent death squads to London before to kill uh, opponents of Paul Kagame, the dictator of this country. The idea that we should give them vast sums of money to do this, to house migrants in inhumane conditions. Are we going to send Ukraine? We're, we're, we're supposed to be making yeah, solidarity very with Ukraine. It's inhumane to me. I was just Are looking at it to... on there. It looks all right. I mean, the other countries have had these deals with Rwanda before, and many of those migrants disappear because they, they, the conditions there have been fairly atrocious. And so they, they disappear and then try to cross the channel again at a later opportunity. I do not think we should be doing a deal like this and paying vast sums of money to a, dicta million. to a dictatorship that murders opponents. Um, and are we going to send Ukrainians there? Because there are lots of refugees from Ukraine now in Europe. Are they going to be sent there? And if not, why? There will be accusations of racism then, because it's, are we just sending migrants from the Middle East? I think there's so many problems with this this scheme that, that I feel like I've only just touched, touched the surface. Well, inhumane, Mary, that's what James reckons. What do you well, think? I, I have a problem with Rwanda, but I don't have a problem at all with the principle of offshoring um, newly arrived um, migrants or asylum seekers coming over the channel, because I think that that has become um, a route of choice. And I think um, James mentioned Ukrainians. And you look at the difficulties that Ukrainians are having, who are mostly women and children coming across the whole of Europe, it would actually be much quicker for them to get to Calais to pay traffickers to cross the channel, which is not, by the way, every time anybody mentions this, it's talked of about a perilous journey. It's not a perilous journey. There's very, very small. There was the one capsize with 27 people who died, which we can say 27 <clears throat> people too many. But it's an infinitesimal proportion of the people who successfully crossed the channel, of whom the reporter said 70% are young men. Now, it's not just the UK that has that will if it gets through the courts, have this sort of policy. Because Canada, which, you know, we all think of Canada as being sort of, um, you know, kinder, gentler country, it has very strict rules about admitting single men. Mm. You can say that it discriminates very, very strongly against single men coming into the country as, as migrants or asylum seekers. So, you know, this is not something that's going to be unique to the UK.